friends, Diana here from Garden Love. It's the afternoon, it's basically sunset right now. The sun's going down and the sun actually finally came out. It was cloudy all day long, so I really didn't want to film and the cloudiness just because usually you can't see what I'm talking about all that well. And you know, the sunshine makes me a lot happier. So I wanted to come out when the sun came out. Today, I want to talk to you guys about my wonderful pomegranate. Actually, this wonderful pomegranate, um, I'm not sure if it's wonderful but it was here when I purchased this property and I want to talk to you guys about different ways that you guys can grow pomegranates and a little bit about um, their behavior and what you guys should be looking out for so that you guys can get an idea of where to plant it, how to plant it and where to put it. <laughs> so this is, let me show you guys here really quick. There, I'm going to show you guys three different ways you guys can plant a pomegranate. This happens to be the most traditional one, which is to put in the ground. Pomegranates are super easy to grow. They're um, drought tolerance once they get established. Um, they hardly ever need any fertilizer. It's good to give them fertilizer so they can bloom. They can sustain these blooms and they can get some fruit for you. Last year, this plant didn't give me any fruit because it wasn't getting the adequate soil. We had a really dry year last year year there wasn't a lot of rain and it didn't have any mulch it didn't have sufficient uh, uh, drip systems so this year I went ahead and fixed that so I added more drip systems I added mulch and we had a heavy rain uh, like two three days ago and if I dig under here you can see the moisture in the soil which is amazing and it's what you need so all of this moisture in the soil is going to help this pomegranate sustain these beautiful flowers and the fruit that's going to come with it it's as you can see it is covered with flowers so i'm super happy about that i think we're going to have a lot more fruit this year than we got last year actually i i know for sure we are there's flowers everywhere it's bursting with happiness because i gave it a little bit i have organic fertilizer i also went ahead and add the mulch and add the drip system um, this pomegranate or any pomegranates grow well in any in a zone 8 to 10 so if you live in any of those zones you guys can grow this as very drought tolerance it doesn't need much of care it can grow in a tree form or it can grow in a bush form as you can see it's up to you to train it and actually it can grow in many other ways and I'm gonna show you another way you can grow it in just a bit but first of all I just want to walk around here so you guys can see it this plant can get fairly large if you allow it to I have um, a lot of space here on the hillside and I'm going to allow it to grow as big as it wants to get because <laughs> I want to get as much fruit as I want as it can possibly give me to juice it, share it with my family and friends and to, um, you know, so we can all enjoy it. All of, every single family member in my family loves pomegranates. So as you can see, this is the traditional way to grow pomegranate, fairly easy to grow. If I had a guess, this, would, this pomegranate is probably about 10 years old it's growing in the ground and yeah I mean it's so easy another fun fact that I've learned about pomegranate especially the wonderful pomegranate is that the gophers seem to leave it alone which is amazing because we have tons of gophers here so if you guys also live in a property where you guys are prone to get gophers then the pomegranate wonderful wonderful pomegranate might be one of the um, pomegranates you guys might be interested in getting because gophers don't attack it as you can see it's growing on a hillside it doesn't require a lot to water just uh, sufficient mulch deep watering when you're first establishing it hopefully you get rain in between and if you are thinking well I don't have a large space like you do well don't worry I'm going to show you another way you can grow a pomegranate and be walking over here to my nursery side of the garden i call it nursery because i have all my little um con my plants in containers but if you guys have been following me for a long time you guys know that i've been growing this wonderful pomegranate in a container for now about seven years it's given me tons of fruit last year this is what gave me the most fruit out of all my pomegranate fruit uh fruit bushes and trees that i have and as you can see here look it's growing new flowers just about every branch and look at that you guys see that it's growing in a container so it is definitely doable if you're limited in space you can tuck this in in a corner like I've done here this is actually providing a little bit more privacy and cover for a little gap in the fence that didn't have this privacy fence that the previous owner built and I love 
But as you can see, look at this. Okay, so just a few tips when it comes to growing them in container. It is a little bit different than the one that you just saw. Well, it's growing in a container. So it's limited to the container, which means that it's not going to root deep, deep, deep down to have access to constant water, to constant nutrients, and, you know, shelter the roots from the coldness and the heat. So if you want to tuck this in close to a wall or something like, for example, right here, there's some... Um, you know structure here and some other bushes over here that provides it with uh, shade so in the summer it's going to give um, more shade and in the winter it's going to provide a shelter from the wind and the coldness and um, it still gets some sun as you guys can see so you're going to want to have to mulch it heavily just like you would something in the ground this plant in the ground you're also going to have to fertilize it a lot often than you would for the pomegranate in the tree so if i'm growing this in the in the in the ground i'm going to probably um, fertilize it once or twice a year now if i'm growing this in a container maybe add a few more times a year just so i could give the nutrients you can tell that i barely started fertilizing it you can tell how the leaves are not completely green i should have showed you the leaves in the other uh, bush i just showed you but you might be able to go back and see that there's a difference between these so definitely um growing things in containers require a little bit more attention and it requires for you to uh feed it a little bit more water it more often because in the hot summer days you know especially a plant this big it's i'm pretty sure in there it is completely filled with roots and you're gonna want to water it more because it will get dehydrated a lot more often because the soil that's in there it's um, re barely retaining moisture and water so guys you guys have a small space you guys can grow this in a container fairly easy and also if you have um, a different variety that is not the wonderful that might be more subjected to the gophers container might be the might be well there's a, one more way to grow pomegranate that is in the ground or in a container which would bring me to my next pomegranate that's right here one of my pride and joys that i was super blessed to have when i got this prop and the ad is to grow them in a planner as you can see they made a planner and you're probably wondering where the pomegranate is well you're looking at it friends there is one pomegranate here and one pomegranate there and there is an arc here that is growing aspillare as you guys can see here if you guys go back to my videos you guys will see that this plant actually was loaded with fruit the first year that i got it and the first year that we moved into this property the second year didn't do that well i'm hoping that the third year will because when you grow it as Belair, you have to train it to be as Belair for it not to grow as bushy as you normally do so we had to do a lot of trimming to this um this as Belair pomegranate plant and i'm hoping that this year's a year that's going to have tons of flowers so far i only see one i'm not sure if you can see it right there you guys see that and i'm gonna have to come and fertilize it because it is growing in this planter with a few other plants like roses and this beautiful um this is a sage and some other little plants here that are probably sucking the nutrients out of everything that this pomegranate can get so i am going to come and fertilize it i do see a few more blooms coming it seems to be blooming this seems to bloom um a lot later than the one in the container and the one in the ground for some reason i'm not exactly sure what it is it, it does taste like a wonderful pomegranate it is a ginormous fruit that grows on this arc i love that the first year we were in love with the fruit like i said i'm hoping that this year we get just as much fruit as the first year that we had and just want to show you another way that you can grow a pomegranate which is in a planter as an art you can grow it as pillar this is actually one of the easiest plants to train as pillar because it is in a bush nature and as you can see anything that comes up you just start pinning it to the arc and to the um, trellis and you just train it anything that sticks out you trim it 
and eventually you would get this beautiful stunning view i love the way this looks obviously aspillers go dormant so in the winter you're not going to get um the view that you're getting now is going to be all uh, the branches it's going to be asleep but in the summer and in the spring as you can see it is stunning and it still has more to grow this is growing a lot slower than it than the other one is but look at the leaves you see how green they are aren't those beautiful they're not as uh, veiny and see-through as the one in the container you can tell that this um, has a little bit more nutrients and more it's more mature than the one I have over there so the, the other one in my container it's obvious that I need to give it some fertilizer which I have not had the opportunity to but that is on my to-do list oh my god guys if you guys if you guys haven't fertilized your fruit trees please do so I should do a video about that because I get a lot of questions about how fertilize your fruit trees in containers which is basically my niche i love growing fruit trees you guys know that i started growing fruit trees in uh, my small backyard and since i didn't have the room to put it in the floor i taught myself how to make my fruit trees thrive and grow in containers and produce fruit and i absolutely love it i love sharing that with you guys because i know there's a lot of you guys like i once was that didn't have the space to grow uh fruit trees in your backyard or in your start yard some of you guys are renting and you guys really want to get started and containers is really the way to go because you guys can take them like I did I had a huge moving truck full of my fruit trees when we moved here and I haven't had to spend that much money on fruit trees all I've been having to focus on is actually getting them in the ground and then eventually once I get all of them in the ground and I have my hillside set up with all the fruit trees that I want on there I'm going to start buying more and continue to grow them in containers because honestly I think that they mature a lot better in containers and eventually when they're at a good maturity stage then I can move them in the ground and I feel like they have a um, better fighting position to get established here in my new property because the weather does get pretty hot and it does get pretty cold and it gets pretty windy and there's not a lot of shelter in the area where I'm putting it so I think that the bigger the trees are the more established they are the better success that they have once I get them in the ground so I'm just going to continue to do that from now on I'm going to focus on here let me show you guys focus I trees that I'm growing in containers I've been <laughs> emptying it out a few this is my blood orange oh my god look at those flowers and the blood or the one blood orange that I got actually just fell so I'm gonna have to take this inside and eat it all up because um as you guys can see I only got, got one and that's because we moved you guys know that I unfortunately neglected collected a lot of my fruit trees because I didn't have time to hand water them all the time I didn't know where to put them and I was focusing on my hillside garden and just you know everything that comes with the move and my mulberries growing in containers are doing amazing most of my trees are in containers because like you guys know I started fruit trees in containers so I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on three ways you can grow a pomegranate tree and a little bit of a care a little bit of information it grows in zone eight and above it requires little to no care it can grow in a container it can grow in a planter and it can in the ground it can grow as an aspillaire it can grow as a bush and it could even grow as a tree to end this video i want to show you guys the pomegranate tree that was gifted to me that i'm training it to grow as a one um trunk tree it's going to take a lot of dedication on my part to continue to take those suckers out so the tree can focus on that one trunk that's growing and i am going to tip into the top of this hillside garden pillows because i always come up here and sit down and enjoy the weather take the sun in i got my artichoke in i got a lot of herbs that i'm going to be growing here oh my god you guys asked me about the mexican key lime it is getting there it's getting there guys it's it's a, this was covered with weed so I had to pull him up and it's going to get it's going to get pretty big but the one over there you guys see that the one that was so stunning last year boy is that one growing but we'll make a separate video about that so here it is my wonderful pomegranate that's growing in a tree form look at that I'm taking off all the suckers that are coming out I'm not allowing any of these to get any bigger than where they are once a week i have to come over here 
and let it grow in a tree form hopefully one day in the future this is going to be taller than i am and i can actually come up here and pick the fruit wouldn't that be cool guys i look forward to that day well i hope you guys enjoyed this video a uh, really short video i just started admiring all the blooms in my pomegranates and i wanted to take the moment to tell you guys hey there's different ways that you guys can grow pomegranates so if this year you're thinking about adding something pomegranate is a fruit that you enjoy having um, i just show you three different more than three different ways to grow pomegranate and they love the sun they are drought tolerance they don't require a lot of fertilizer and they're like one of the easiest plants you can grow the the wonderful pomegranate tastes wonderful and like the name says it and the gophers don't attack it so what easier fruit can you get that you're not gonna have to worry much about so just add mulch some compost some fertilizer and get it going guys give it deep watering when you first put it in the ground or in your container or in a planter because you want those roots to get established wherever it is that you decide to put it and once it gets established you have to water it depending on the weather once a week every two weeks sometimes even every three weeks depending if you're in the winter or in the summer but um, just remember it requires more care if you have it in the container if you guys haven't seen my videos go back to my videos and look for those um, videos I made about watering and containers there's a big difference between that and in the ground and if you guys want me to give you guys a new video about watering leave it in the comments I'll be happy to make it I can talk about that forever that is my forte that I love to talk about because I started with fruit juice and containers and I'm gonna continue to do it and I want to continue to help you guys grow those fruit juice and containers if you guys don't have the space um, and maybe one day you will a lot of you guys are working towards that and I know you guys will get there soon like always I hope you guys have a blessed day grow something create something beautiful and useful I'll see you in the next one